This battle is between me and Obelix again, me using the Sassanid Empire, a faction that I've come to like quite a lot, and he is bringing the same Eastern Roman Empire build that he brought in the previous battle, so I'm going to try a different tactic this time than what I did the previous battle. The previous battle I kept my general in reserve behind here, and I also kept my cavalry in reserve playing quite defensively, and now I'm going to try to play, be a bit more aggressive with the skirmish and be a bit more aggressive with trying to pull Obelix's units out from his formation so I can single them out. And to do that I'm sending one Shredni Immortal here, it's going to try to take care of the Tegmata. And I'm also going to send my general over here as bait. Ideally I want him to start an engagement and then I want to finish off the engagement with the Grivpenvar and the Persian Brigade. So, wanting to use a few precursors, I send in my spa bed. Try to get a few shots off, but no, they weren't able to, so I'm going to use my Shedden Immortals to fire at the Tegmata while they are trying to get at my general. So, also using precision. I should have had flaming on now, but I think I forgot to turn it on. But still, Tegmata cavalry dying to the fire of the Shedden Immortals. But the Shi'ad Immortals are very expensive units, so they, they have to kill a lot of uh, enemy units for them to be a sound investment. But they are well on their way now, firing at both Klebenari and Tegmata. So the Klebenari is going to start rushing towards my Shi'ad Immortals. And the great thing about Parthian Shot is that, like here, they're able to fire while they are running away from a unit. And if attack orders are given and the unit is left with attack orders on, on um, and the units are left with attack orders, it means that the unit becomes vulnerable. Like here, the Tegmata gets hit by Gryphonvar. And Obelix was smart, he used his uh, diamond formation there. If not, he would get smashed very quickly. So I send my, I send my spa bed into the, the Tegmata. And this, of course, makes Obelix respond the way I was hoping he would send in his cavalry and now there are quite a few things happening i want to send my cavalry around here to close off this blob once it's developed i want to stop this this uh Klebenari unit from getting a charge which i just managed to do here crashing into its side and this Klebenari unit is getting hit by fire from my from my armenian slingers so it's going to both take damage quite a lot of damage actually and then the savaran cataphracts should be able to catch up to it before it manages to do too much damage to my grip and war here and here we have a delicious blob this grip and war unit was miss micro so i didn't manage to push it all the way around to protect the rear here and also to charge in so i'm going to use my shared immortals to do that use the persian brigade to try and stop the equity sagittari for for a bit also try to do some damage to them. So since these units are so far away from their, from their, uh, the rest of the army, and the rest of the army can't really engage here because of my Armenians and my, my, um, my infantry. So I'm getting fairly decent engagements here. The Klebenari gets hit in the rear. The Fundatores are too far away. And here my Persian Brigade are able to to get in and close off this cavalry blob. Now there is a worrying unit of Klebenari here. And it looks like this Klebenari is heading straight for the blob. Which I of course don't want to, ha to happen. So I'm going to use my Persian Brigade to send them in here instead. To try and stop the Klebenari. Also fire at the Klebenari to slow them down a bit. And this is what I love about the Sassanids. You can do so many cool things with the Sassanids with cavalry and skirmish now. And... Uh, it, it makes for, in my opinion, games that are much more fun than just pure rushing. Area control with the Armenian Slingers, baiting with cavalry. And now the Klebenari has been kept out of the fight by this lowly Persian Brigade for quite some time and it's taken damage by these Armenian Slingers. So this allows me the time to close off this blob and and uh, go three against one, uh, uh, th four against three cavalry units here. And the same thing is happening over here. I managed to get my Persian Brigade in, pouring in some fire to try and stop these, um, to try and break these units. But now Obelix is starting to, to support here. We're still kind of squaring off in the center, but my flanks are definitely stronger. I managed to pull my Gryphonwork artifacts out, so they are able to hit the Klebenari. 
At the same time, Persian Brigade coming in here and being very useful in causing additional damage to these Klebinari. Not really worried about the Equites uh, Sagittari, I just need to take care of the Tugmata and the Klebinari. And um, this entire blob is absolutely fine. Over here as well, as long as I'm able to take care of these cavalry units before the Eastern Armored Legio gets there, then I am fine. And over here as well, the Tugmata Cavalry has put up a valiant fight against the Gripen War Cataphracts. But when the Shayadne Immortals get into the mix, they are going to be able to defeat the Tugmata. The so the Sassanids really lives. like engagements like these. Messy engagements. The enemy have and I'm do probably doing too much friendly fire here. Obelix is also firing into the blob, so these, these units are taking a lot of damage. I turn the Shayadne Immortals around. Of course, fighting shock cavalry with the Shayadne Immortals, not the best idea, but better than just eating the charge anyway. So they should be able to defeat the Klebinari here, and the, the Tugmata is going down. Pulling units out of engagements like that can be very important. So here the Magister Militum wanted to join the fight, but the rest of his men died, so he's going to run back. Getting into the Fundatories here with one unit of Savaran Cataphracts, you just need to be a bit careful, because this Savaran Cataphract can't take many volleys from the Fundatories here. Doing some damage to the Magister Militum by chasing him away here, and... Uh, in this blob, the the uh, Shayadne Immortals are holding their own. Great unit, very expensive, but it essentially allows you to have an extra melee cavalry unit, and that has been very important for me in this battle. So here, sending the Gripen War Cataphracts in against the Magister Militum while I pull the rest of the units around. I don't want to get hit by Precursors here on my general. The Savoran Cataphracts started to take some damage, but I have quite a few Armenian Slingers left. They have a lot of ammunition. And same thing here with the, the Shared Immortals, so I'm just trying to pull away, but it looks like I'm going to take fire pulling away, so I might lose a few of these units. And here the general and my... The, the Persian Brigade is fighting the enemy general. I'm just firing into the blob now to do as much damage to the enemy general as I can. Firing at the Fundatores was a mistake here, I really should have focused fire on the general here with the precision shot. My Armenian Slingers, I'm just pulling away, moving my cavalry around the flanks. I am going to lose this grip and more, but I make a quick assessment of what I have left, and I see that it's more than enough to deal with what Obelix has left, so I'm, I'm just going to, I'm not going to support this, this fight too hastily. Send in the Savoran Cataphracts, they're taking a lot of damage from these lowly Fundatores, but when the Fundatores get hit by the Savorans, they are going to die very quickly. So the blob is uh, the blob is opened. The uh, Obelix won this engagement. He's also going to to take care of my Savar and Cataphract here, but he lost two very important units of Fundatores. And now I just need to stay away from the precursors of the Eastern Roman Legio and try to do damage to the Magister Militum. The Fundatores are fighting Amina Slingers. Eastern Armored Legio are getting hit in the flank by Dalamites. So in this situation, the Dalamites should do fairly well because they get the charge and they get to envelop the uh, the Eastern Armored Legio. And there's also this unit of Grip and War Cataphracts coming in from the rear. So Precursors, lots of Precursors coming in, but pulling out the unit like this means that it's going to lose a lot of men as well. So. I'm fairly confident in this blob, and now it's just a matter of being patient around these units, not getting hit by precursors on the way in, and just focusing fire with Armenian Slingers on the Magister Militum now, and see just how quickly Armenian Slingers can deal with cavalry here. The Magister, Mil Magister Militum is careless, he is moving too close to my lines, and when the stone starts hitting and his speed is reduced, yeah. It's, it's crazy how quickly these, uh, this Magister Militum starts dropping. And I have Precursors left on my units. The Dalamites are not great units. But in situations like this, they can really excel. So the enemy general died, and that should mean that a lot of Obelix's units are, are going to just route off the field without doing much. He still has ammunition left. But I'm not too worried about engaging here. My my units are winded, but so are Obelix's units. So I'm just going to delay the engagement a bit and complete the envelop envelopment of what's left of the Roman what's left of the Roman um, units. 
The Oblix making the push for my center. His Eastern Army Legio is of course superior to my to my Dalamites. But for now I just need to hold him here. I'm thinking about going into shield wall. But I want to use my precursors and I have cavalry support in the rear. So the Limitani border guards, their morale isn't enough to keep them in the fight. You'll see my Dalamites will start losing fairly quickly here to these Eastern Army Legio. Just pouring in the Persian Brigade here. And then into the rear comes the Griffin War Cataphracts. Just as the Limitani border guards reorient their lines. And that means the end of the Limitani border guards. Over here as well. They're on the move so they're going to get smashed. And the coup de grace comes from the spa bed charging into the rear of the Eastern Army Legio. So this, in my opinion, is a very fun way to play Attila, at least for me. Uh, just not just rushing and shocking, but but trying different things, trying different tactics that might not work in all cases. Some of these tactics are sort of one-trick ponies, and they. They do rely on things like Obelix not following my uh, or Obelix following my shared immortals and such, but but the Sassanids, uh, the the Armenian slingers deliver. They make armies think twice about engaging the Sassanids head on, and that allows the Sassanids to dominate on the flanks, which made for, in my opinion, a very fun game. So I would very much like to try the Sassanids out some more in this patch. They have gotten a significant buff, and they are very fun to play with. Strength and armor.